riders, let's go! <laughs> You're wasting your time. The riders haven't been any good since the old days. Joe, 747 Adams. <laughs> Polecat Foley. Molly McGee. Oh, she was as tough as nails. Molly McGee was a guy. I don't think so. First woman to play in the CFL. Look it up. What, dementia? Joe Dementia played baseball, you jackass. Can we have another round here? Gridiron. Right. Well, you'll be happy to know the Argos are winning. Oh, I'm cheering for the Riders. Been a fan of theirs ever since they moved the team from Ottawa. Well, please, football gods, if, if you help the Riders win, I promise me, Brent, and Lacey will all paint our faces green for a whole month. You're on. Now, when you say face... Come on, I thought you said you were a Riders fan. Well, I'm on board. <laughs> but when you say a month... Come on, we're running out of time. All right, fine. I'll wear a rider's jersey and I'll paint their logos on my cheeks. You hear that football guard? She said yes. He's open. He's wide open. Throw the ball! I'm sorry. I don't do that very often. Excellent. Hey, Karen. Here's that mixed CD I said I'd make for you. Oh, wow. Thank you. How come she gets a CD and I don't? I like music. You want me to make you a CD? Are you ready for it? Are you ready for a Davis disc? I'm ready for you to back up a bit. So it begins. We're looking for volunteers at the seniors home. And we were wondering if you'd like to read to Mrs. Carmichael. Mrs. Carmichael? I thought she was dead. She's not dead. So, would you like to volunteer? Fine. You know who I always think is dead is that guy that played Fish on Barney Miller. What was his name? He is dead. Get the hell out of here. No, he's not dead. What about you, Emma? What about me? Abe Vagoda. Would you like to bring some food to the seniors? All right. How about you, Oscar? Would you like to help out? No. See how easy it is? You got something on your face. Huh? It's face paint. No, the other side. It's all face paint. Where's yours? Well, we weren't serious about that, were we? Whoa, somebody wimped out on the pact. No, 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 I painted my face green, see? Yes, you did. And so did I, because we are real fans. Unlike Brent, I'm a fan. Look, that spearmint gum, green. These chips I'm eating got flakes of green stuff all over them. The washer fluid, all right, that's blue, but if I put some lemon juice in there, green. Do you use that lame excuse on St. Patrick's Day, too? Fine, I'll put on the jersey, I'll paint my face. Don't uh, bump into those green air fresheners. Go Riders! Here are three different versions of the cover. Which one do you like best? Oh, uh, that one. Sounds me up perfectly. The one with the spaceship and the horse? That's a horse. Wow. Yeah, sums me up perfectly. So, we done here? Oh, the finished product's a ways away yet. <laughs> Look, I just want some music to listen to like Scrub the Crapper. I see. That changes everything. Mrs. Carmichael? It's Officer Karen Pelly. I didn't know the watch was his. I can't see well. No, I'm here to read to you. Oh, good. This is one of my favorites. Passion in the Willows? Mm-hmm. 
<clears throat> okay. <clears throat> the sun glistened off the bead of sweat that rolled down between Nurse Chambers' ample bosom. Her auburn hair danced in the wind as she glanced at his beefy... Beefy what? How long have you been standing there? Since ample bosom. Well, don't let me stop you. Enjoy your smut book. Coffee's on the house there, Ryder fan. Because that's what Ryder fans do for each other, am I right? No doubt. Hello, sports fans. Now, before you say a word... Unbelievable. Or after you say a word, I thought about the face paint, but I have a very large face. That's a lot of paint. And the thing about the shirt is that, that tag really itches. The tag itches on mine, too. But that's what real fans put up with. No doubt. Yeah, but it rubs against this little mole here. That could be really annoying. Am I right? You're really pathetic. Am I right? No doubt. I brought you some leftovers from the seniors' home. That place gives me the creeps. Bunch of old people sitting around, not doing anything, watching TV. Actually, something kind of funny happened to Karen. Well, tell me quick before my show comes back on. Well, she had to read this romance novel to Mrs. Carmichael, and it was all about rippling biceps this and ample bosoms that. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> what else should she say? Well, I'll tell you later. Your show's back on. Ah, screw Quincy. <laughs> Come on. Here's your CD. I think you're really going to enjoy the oral journey. I even put some journey on there. I listened to the disc while cleaning my toilet. Work like a charm. There's a toilet here if you want to listen to it again. Oh, no, 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 no. I'll leave you to enjoy it. Hello, Mrs. Carmichael. It's Oscar. Emma's husband? I thought she said you were dead. I'm not dead. <laughs> I thought you were dead. What are you doing here? Just visiting an old friend. Uh, oh, story time, eh? Well, I'll just sit quietly in the corner and, and listen. Um, Nurse Chambers' hot breath caressed the back of his neck. His supple buttocks glistened in the moonlight. Yeah. Well, sorry. My hearing's not very good. What, what was that in the moonlight? Supple buttocks. <laughs> Smut reader. So how'd you like the CD? Fantastic. Blew my mind. No need to make another. Which was your favorite song? Um... Song two. I liked how it came right after the first one there. You know, like right after. And sort of slid into song three. Did not see that coming. So... So... Are we done here? There's kind of an unwritten rule amongst mixed CD makers that if I make a mixed CD for you, you have to make one for me. How about this? Hear me out. Instead of me making you a mixed CD, how about I don't? Sorry. Unwritten rules are rules. <laughs> she had to read this one part about being <laughs> ripe like a peach, ready for the picking. I thought she was going to die of embarrassment. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> We're having a good laugh about Karen. <laughs> uh, no, it's my shoulder. Nothing. Just trying to have a conversation. I'm going to take out the garbage. Way to go, Brent. You cost us the game. We didn't get as many end zone points because of you. They didn't lose just because I didn't dress up. Nice going, Brent. Not to tell my wife I lost the farm. You bet the farm on the game? Well, no, I'm, I'm just bad at business, you know. But if we'd won, I'd have something good to tell her. <laughs> oh, well, we'll get him next time, all right? No doubt. 
No doubt. Hello? Hot dog? Let's get this started. <laughs> I wonder what smutty shenanigans Nurse Chambers has got up to today. <laughs> well, today I thought we might try something different. I brought the manual to my VCR. <clears throat> Dear Value Toshiwa customer. Save it. We want willowy passions. <laughs> Don't we, Mrs. C? I do love that book. It's the only thing I look forward to. Fine. <clears throat> she then turned, and standing there was her twin brother, Simon. Shut up, her brother's still alive. <laughs> and we would have won, too, if Brent had dressed up like he promised. Aren't you the least bit ashamed? Even Lacey, an outsider, shows more support than you do. Dressing up doesn't make you a better fan. Until last week, Lacey thought the players went into a cuddle before each play. And Hank only wants to wear that green face paint for a month so he doesn't have to shower. Being a real fan is about knowing the strategies and the coaching and the players. It has nothing to do with two people dressing up like idiots. Real nice, Brent. They can cuddle when they huddle. Ta-da! Already? You didn't even ask me any questions. Oh, I've been silently studying you for a long time. This CD has been years in the making. Shuffle burn done. So, this completes our transaction. No more unwritten rules. I don't have to knit you a sweater or get you a puppy or anything. Thanks, Wanda. So you thanking me means we're done. I thought you were going to stop reading that smut to Mrs. Carmichael. I tried. But you know, it's not as smutty as I originally thought. It's actually a pretty good story. Simon's still alive. I don't care. Oscar can't keep his hands off me. What's gotten into you? Nothing. Can't a guy stretch? I'm going to get you out of it. You don't have to do that for me. I'm doing it for me. Davis, I was just out for a run. Didn't see you there. I want to talk to you about that CD you made me. Oh, I, uh, I really don't like to talk about the process. I love it. It's the ultimate mix CD. Opening with classical music, then reggae, followed by a children's song, then ending with whale sounds. Brilliant. You are a CD mix genius. My CDs are garbage compared to yours. No. Yours aren't garbage. It's nice of you to say that. Uh, so, um, we're done? Okay, so for the next game, I am thinking of making a little guacamole and sour cream dip. You get it? Green and white. Oh yeah, I'd nosh on that action. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I thought we only did that after one of us said no doubt. Oh, yeah. Go, Riders. That's right. Take a moment and drink it all in. You know, normally I ask this around Halloween, but what are you supposed to be? I think he's the Jolly Green Giant. No, I'm, I'm Saskaman. It's a character I invented. I'm like you guys. Go Riders! Are you mocking us? No, I'm not mocking you. I'm one of you. No, you aren't. Are there mirrors on your planet? Who are you? The Green Goblin? The G Green Goblin looks nothing like this. I'm Saskaman, Super Rider fan. You're Sask Jerk, Super Jerky Man. You're Stupid Stinky Man from the planet Nobula. I don't know what game we're playing, but I like it. 
Mrs. Carmichael, I'm afraid Karen won't be able to read to you anymore. It's against her religion. She's Muslim. Karen's Muslim? Presbyterian Muslim. It's new. It's all the rage. I don't suppose you could read to me. I'm Muslim, too. No, you're not. What are you doing here? Where's Karen? Oh, she can't read anymore. I asked Emma, but she said no. Well, I'll read it. <laughs> oh, no, you don't, Mr. Randy Pants. Someone please read? All right. One chapter, then I'm out of here. Davis says you're good at mixing CBs. Can you mix me one? Oh, I don't know if I would use the word artist. I didn't say artist. Oh. Well, it is an art to do it right. It takes time and effort. Shuffle, burn, done. And here you go. Prepare to be blown away by the oral journey. I thought Karen was the smut reader. Hey, Hank, I thought us two super fans could go to the bar for the next Ryder game. Watch them stick it to those blue bombers. No, I'm not really in the mood. Hey, why'd you take your face paint off? Because you're making fun of me. No, I'm not. Of all the stupid things you do, why would I make fun of this one? Whatever, Alaska man. It's not Alaska man, I'm Saska man. Why would Alaska man's face be green? Because it's cold. That makes even less sense. Hi, Alice. Shh. My bad. Um, I was wondering if you could help me find a book. It's called Passion in the Willows. Mm-hmm. Look, I know the deal. You get your jollies reading dirty books to seniors. Jollies? I, I just want to know how it ends. Maybe you could try the library in Smutsville. Nurse Chambers was way... <coughs> <coughs> Waiting for him. Are you sure Karen can't come back? No kidding. This is like listening to a chainsaw. A chainsaw that can't read. Hello, Karen. At least one of my prayers was answered. Now we're going to hear some good reading. All right, let's see if these two lovebirds get caught. Hey, Lacey, rider game coming up. You want to go? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were somebody else. Who are you supposed to be? Marvin the Martian? Marvin the Martian's face was black. Geez, you people in your references. Hey, Swamp Thing, I'm over here. Hey, where's all your green stuff? I took it off. You made your point. You're the best fan, the smartest fan, the most dedicated fan. All hail Sasquatch Man. I'm here in support. And I'm not Sasquatch Man, or Alaska Man, or Marvin the Martian, or Fat Kermit. Well, aren't you clever? Another satisfied customer? How was your CD? Blow your mind? Freak out your soul? Stupid boy? Idiot wind? Thick as a brick? I know what you're trying to say. I'm an idiot. Look, I just hit shuffle and burn 10 songs at random. Not mine, right? Of course not yours. A polka song? Broadway musical? A chapter from a year in Provence. OK, yours too. I don't believe it. You've broken the first unwritten rule of CD mixing. Thou shalt not shuffle. I thought you said there were no more unwritten rules. Can you make me a CD? One that doesn't call me stupid? And so it begins. So, we done here? Whoa, <laughs> Josh, fry up the grill. I think I can retire after I feed these two. Hey guys, Riders are gonna win tonight. Oh, are you fans? They play for the Riders. Oh, right. <laughs> That is what I was saying. That was just a little fan humor, because that's what we do as fans. <laughs> She's, you know. Whoa, Gene Makowski and Matt Dominguez. Yeah, and you know what else? They play for the riders. What are you guys doing here? Well, they probably came to see their biggest fan, right? Word probably got out that there was this huge Rough Rider fan in Dog River, and then they came to see me for themselves. 
Actually, we were just looking for some coffee. Quite the get-up, though. Yeah, it's pretty lame, eh? I think it's pretty cool. You're like a man from Saskatchewan. Like a Saskatchewan man. You're like Saska guy. Saska man. No, Saska guy. It's always been Saska guy. Hey, Saska guy, here's a couple tickets to our next game. Oh, thanks. A actually, could I get one more? There's a couple of people I'd really like to take with me. Sure. Go Riders! Go Riders! Are you mocking us? No. Lieutenant Wilson kissed her gently on her perfectly formed ear. Then he glided out of the room knowing he would never see her again. Wow. I didn't think it would end like that. Huh. Pretty good book, huh? Mrs. Carmichael? Mrs. Carmichael? online visit us at corner